two NASA astronauts whose eight-day mission to the International Space Station turned into nine months said they'd do it all again. Speaking publicly for the first time since their return to Earth, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams said they felt honoured and humbled by the support they'd received and were glad to be back. Emma Vardy reports. The stars of a real-life space drama. Millions on Earth followed Butch and Sonny's extraordinary predicament as they became known as the stranded astronauts. Now they say surviving their unexpected time away was a test of resilience in space and for their families on Earth. I wanted to hug my husband and hug my dogs. And I'll say that order in that order. In my family, we talk about these possibilities. We discussed all of this. We never said we were going to be gone for nine months, but it turned out that way. After the problems with their Boeing Starliner meant a dramatically extended stay, Butch and Sonny became part of the crew on the International Space Station while waiting for a SpaceX capsule to take them home. Let's go forward into Starliner. President Trump and CEO of SpaceX Elon Musk said they could have been brought back sooner, but the astronauts said they didn't blame any one organization for what went wrong. It looks probably a little cramped. There were questions that I, as a commander of the spacecraft, that I should have asked and I did not. At the time, I didn't know I needed to. Responsibility with Boeing? Yes. Responsibility with NASA? Yes. All the way up and down the chain. We all are responsible. We all own this. Their experience, they say, is a reminder of the complexity of space travel and a lesson for all of us for when things don't go to plan. When something doesn't go your way, you just have to take the blinders off and look around you and see what other really great things are waiting for you. And splash down, crew nine back on Arriving Earth. off the coast of Florida two weeks ago, their capsule was surrounded by dolphins. Now safely back on Earth, they've said they'd do it all again in a heartbeat. Emma Vardy, BBC News.